Hi everyone, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks very much for joining me. So today I'm making some matchbox drawers. This is what the finished project will look like. And to make the actual drawers, I'm using the envelope punch board from We Are Memory Keepers. I have a sheet of card here, five inches by five inches. And I'm going to line it up on the alignment guide at one and a half inch. And I'm going to punch and score. I'm then going to rotate it 90 degrees and line it up at the two inch mark, punch and score, and then rotate it 90 and back to one and a half inch, punch and score, rotate 90 and put it back at two inches, punch and score. For the next part, we're going to use just the score guide, which is that piece that pokes out there. And we're going to line that up with the score line that we just made, punch and score, rotate, Line up with the score, line with the score guide, punch and score. Rotate, line the score guide up with the score line, punch and score. Rotate, line the score guide up with the score line, punch and score. And that's our scoring and punching done. Now we move on to folding and burnishing along those score lines. So I'm just folding, burnishing, fold that edge up and burnish it. Rotate it to the other side fold that flap up, burnish it, fold it again. So we're just folding and burnishing all of the score lines. All the way around. Once I've finished folding and burnishing along the score lines, I'm going to turn the piece so that those triangle pieces that you see there, the larger ones, uh, top and bottom and I'm going to cut up to the score line then rotate it around and cut up to the score line again then cut little notches this makes it easier to put those tabs in place and this is creating the tabs so that we can fold the short ends where the smaller triangles are in when we're creating the box I hope that makes sense so I'm applying glue here to one of the tabs as I'm going to start constructing the box and gluing it together so I glue that tab to the long side of the box on all four sides. You could use double-sided tape here, but I decided to use glue and I'm using Tombow Mono Adhesive Glue as I do like this glue, it's very strong, particularly for this sort of thing. So I'm just gluing the last tab in place and you can see the box is coming together. So the box is coming together but we've got these triangles that are still hanging out. So we're going to put glue onto those and we're going to fold them down into place and glue them down. And I'm using my bone folder here to press down to get good stick. And what these triangle pieces that we're folding in are doing they will give the box extra strength. It's going to be a drawer and it needs to have the strength to be pulled in and out of the base piece that we make. So just gluing the last one in place. And there you have it, we've got our little drawer base. Moving on to the wrap that goes around the matchbox. And I've got a piece of card here, six inches by two and three eighths of an inch. And the cardstock I'm using for this whole project is 300 GSM or 140 pound. So popping that piece of card onto my scoreboard, I'm going to score at half an inch, one and a half inch, three and a quarter of an inch, and four and a quarter of an inch. And then I'm going to fold and burnish along those score lines. So I'm just finishing up the folding and the burnishing here of the wrap that goes around the matchbox. And you can see that it will fit around the matchbox quite nicely. So I'll go ahead and I'll put glue along that tab there. And when you put it into place, the other piece that you fold up, give yourself about a millimetre. Don't glue it all the way to the edge. Because what will happen is your drawer won't slide in and out nicely. And this is something that I found out. This one I did perfectly. And the seam there goes on the bottom, 
and I slide the drawer in and it moves in and out beautifully. I went on to make three more and this is where I find out that I wasn't as successful as the first drawer. And you can see that the drawers are a little bit stuck and a little bit hard to move in and out and that is because those wraps were put around a bit too tight. I didn't give myself that room. So I'm just positioning them how they're going to be and close the drawers. And this is the configuration of how it's going to look. And I'm just measuring here for the sheet of mat board that I'm going to use. And I went for four and a half inches. So I've got two pieces of mat board here, four and a half by four and a half. And that's just some mat board I had in my stash. And it's what picture framers use. I've got these wooden beads here and I'm going to set them aside and paint them for the feet. And from Kaiser Craft I have this paper, it's a designer series paper, and it's from the Fairy Garden Collection and it's the Fantasy Sheets. From Uniquely Creative I have these ready-made flowers that I'm going to use on this project. With the designer series paper I cut them down, they're going to be the decorator pieces. And for the top I've got a piece here four and a quarter by four and a quarter. These four pieces here measure one and a half by two and a quarter inch and they will go inside the drawer the drawers as liner pieces and then I've got these smaller pieces here they measure seven eighths of an inch by one and five sixteenths of an inch and they will go on the end of the drawer the end that faces out and I've got four pieces that go on the side, just one side of the matchbox, because you won't see the other side. And that measures seven eighths of an inch by two and a quarter of an inch. And there's four of those. So I've gone ahead here and I've glued down all those lining pieces in the front of the drawer, the sides, and inside the box. Now only the front and one side of the boxes have the lining pieces because you don't see the other. And I've put it on the top as well. Now what I'm doing here is I'm getting ready to glue these boxes onto the base mat board piece and I flip them over and I'm using double sided tape to hold the boxes together. And the reason why I'm doing this is to hold the boxes together whilst I'm gluing them down. I could glue them down one by one but then knowing me I probably wouldn't get it straight. So this helps keep the boxes in place and it assists with gluing them all down in place so that they're straight and even. So I'm just putting some more tape in the centre. And I remove the release tape. And I also go ahead and add glue as well because I'd like a little bit of wriggle room as I'm gluing this onto the base mat board piece. And I'd be quite generous with the glue here too. So I get the base piece of mat board and I put them down, the match boxes down onto it. And I've got a little bit of wriggle room here to make sure that I get this straight and even and there's a little border around. I press that down in place, making sure that the glue and the double sided tape gets a good stick on that base piece of mat board. Now I'm moving on to the top and I'm putting some glue on the top of the boxes and I'll put the top piece of mat board in place. So I flip it over so that I can make sure that it's straight and in line with the base piece. So I'm just taking care to make sure that the top piece is stuck well. And this is where I realized that I should have opened the drawers before I stuck the top on because the drawers don't have any handles yet and it can be a little bit tricky to open the drawers. But I managed to get them open with the help of a scoring tool and I remove the drawers entirely because I'm going to now put the handles on. And I'm a little bit disappointed here because three of my drawers don't slide in and out easily. And I probably should have remade the covers, but never mind. So I've got the drawers up on their end. And I've got these little brads from my stash. I've had them for ages. They've got a pearl in the middle of them. And I thought they would match in quite nicely. And I'm using my punch here. I think it's a one 
eighth of an inch or one sixteenth even. It's very tiny anyway. So I go ahead and I eyeball where I'm going to punch the hole and I get the hole punched on all four drawers. And I go ahead and I put the brads in and they're going to be the handles. And I'm happy with how they're looking on the front of the drawer. Very girly. You could use anything in your stash to be the handles on your drawers. Whatever brads you've got would be fine. But then on the tutorial that I followed from Justine Hovey, and I will link it below, when she was doing her punching and scoring at the beginning, she punched notches. And that would work too. So here I am, I'm putting the drawers back into the base unit and I give them a try. There's that one drawer that works perfectly, the other three don't. On to decorating and I'd like to talk to you about this crystal katana tool. I have had many tools in my stash over the years to assist me in the picking up and putting down of pearls, rhinestones, sequins, etc. And I've never really been happy with what I've had. I heard a lot about the crystal katana and I wanted to give one a try, so I bought one. And I have to tell you, it is fabulous. It picks up and puts down these little things just perfectly without any issues at all. So I highly recommend a crystal katana. So I went ahead here and I've glued down my flowers onto the top of the box. This is something that usually takes me a long time so I don't record it. And that's the, pretty much the top of the box done and I just have to glue the feet on. So here are the beads that I previously had painted off camera, just in white acrylic paint. And I'm going to glue them on with my hot glue gun. You could use anything that you had in your stash for the feet. You could get creative but I just used what I had. I made these drawers many, many years ago when I first made them and I actually used matchboxes. A little bit smaller than what we've got here, but um, essentially the same. But it was a lot of fun to actually make the matchboxes. And the only thing that uh, I was disappointed with again, and I'll tell you again, is that the three drawers that get stuck. Um, you have to take care when you're putting your wrappers around your matchboxes that you give yourself enough room so that the drawers slide in and out easily. So here's my one drawer that, well, not that one. Here's my one drawer that slides in and out easily. The other three are a pain. So I learnt a lesson as well. And these drawers are quite cute and they will live in my craft room. But if you're a crafter that sends happy mail, this would be a lovely thing to send. You'd probably have to take the feet off or you'd have to wrap it really carefully, but it's still something nice to receive, I'm sure. And you could put all sorts of little trinkets and things in those drawers. So if you'd like to head on over to my blog, there'll be an entry there that talks about the challenge that this project was made for. And if you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would really love that. Thanks very much for watching today and have a great day. Bye for now.